Hey guys, Karex if you here with another review. This time I'll be reviewing the Arms Weapon 03 Budo Ryuho from Kamen Rider Gaim. This is Kamen Rider Ryugen's weapon in Budo Arms and just consists of the Budo Ryuho itself. So let's take a look. As can be seen, this is a gun mauled after a bunch of grapes. And it is fitting for Kamen Rider Ryugen, who is mauled after a... Uh, Chinese soldier, and the Chinese invented gunpowder and subsequently the first firearms. Now while the design does have elements of modern guns such as a handle and trigger, the barrel style is uh, similar to that of multi-barreled Chinese hand cans or Xiaochong. Now as you can see it does have this great design here this gold outline, these bits of clear purple making up the grids themselves, and then this little lever back here being the stem. Nice touch is that with the multi-barrel design from the front it also has a design of another bunch of grapes. Once again with the purple being clear plastic. At the same time there's also a lot of nice etched in detail on the gold here and the silver on the handle. As well as this green part down here that matches up with the lever. Up top you have some more detail with silver and the speaker right here. And on the back side you have that same gold detailing, same details on the front, and the battery compartment which isn't painted in silver. Also have the on out switch back here. So let's turn it on. Now, of course, being a gun, its main gimmick is firing, although it does do this in a rather unique way. So, pulling trigger, you'll get a firing sound and then an impact sound. And you can do it again multiple times. Now, the thing about this is that you get impact sounds equal to the amount of times you pull the trigger. And so that can go up to five times. And just to show that, I'll pull it the trigger six times and you'll only hear five impact sounds. Now what makes this gimmick unique is that the uh, way the impact sounds goes actually uh, matches up with whatever timing you use to pull the trigger. Basically, say, uh, if I pull the trigger five times fast, the impact sounds will repeat at the same tempo. You can also use pauses in between the shots and you'll get those pauses in the impacts, like this. And so it's actually a pretty cool gimmick. Though simple, it is effective. As for other sounds, there's a special attack sound, which you can activate by pulling this lever back here, and then pulling the trigger, like so. This lets Kamen Rider Ryugen perform the Dragon Shot. Now as far as those sound goes, those are also significant. As the standby sound is akin to a fuse being lit and then burning. And that the firing sound is similar to fireworks, which is significant because the Chinese also invented fireworks. And the first firearms were essentially weaponized fireworks. So, doing that once more. Uh, 
as far as the lights it's, lights themselves, it's a shame that there's only one red light coming from this spot here, and it's only on this side, not on the other one. Would have been nice to see some other lights in the other spots. Another thing that certainly would have been nice would have been to have basically to have a little bit of perhaps thicker plastic or maybe a little bit of paint on the other side just to make the purple stand out a little bit more so because it doesn't stand out too much and perhaps you know me perhaps making the uh, perhaps making this a little bit less reflective or something like that I'm not quite sure so it's got a nice design and nice functionality. It certainly can be pretty fun just with the way the firing reactions work. And the special attack is nice too. Overall, this is a pretty good toy. Again, similarly to the Banner Spear, it is one that can be skipped for the most part, and it's one I'd mostly recommend to people who really like Kamen Rider Ryugen. Also note is that this appears to be the end of the arms weapon line. And that's kind of a shame because it would have been nice to at least have it end with maybe a Melon Defender toy, as again, Kamen Rider Zangetsu is considered to be basically among the four main riders. But as far as weapons for Zangetsu goes, we still have the Muso Saber, but it's made less special by how it's carried with Gaim. Still, has a nice design to it, pretty good size, and the functionality is still pretty fun. Simple yet intuitive. So overall it works, and it's still something I can recommend to some people. So thanks for watching, please rate, comment, subscribe, and check out my channel for more videos, and for now, this is KRX50, riding off.